What up? This is a very special episode of the Untucked Podcast. We got a special guest here today. We got Adam Sarwacky once again. Hello. I'm here again. I, I keep showing up for some reason. <laughs> He's back. He's back. It is. What time is it? Is it 1 a.m.? Is it 2 a.m.? Uh, it's 1.20 a.m. for some reason. We got. But, s- but hey, if, if you don't believe in daylight saving, it's 12.20 a.m. It's 12.20. You heard it here first. We got Sadie in the house. Sadie, say what up. Good hey, girl. You've you gotten her about a year ago now, right? Yeah, it's been one year since I got this dog. Like two days ago. Two or three days ago, I think. Yeah, so so <laughs> I drove down to Kentucky for a buddy of mine to get a new car. So we drove all the way down to Kentucky, 400 miles, and then we drove 400 miles back. And then the next day, Batman over here, he goes, hey, I want to go down to Indy and pick up a dog. I'm like... He's like, will, will, will you drive down there with me? I'm like, man, I just went to Kentucky yesterday. He's like, well, will you go down to Indy with me? I'm like, all right, all right, all right. right. We'll, we'll, let's do it. So we drove down to Indy, like a little bit past Indy, right? Like Greenwood? Yeah. Yeah, Greenwood. And we picked up Sadie here. And she was like this, this small. And she was adorable. And she was thirsty. She wanted all the water in the world. Oh, my God. Like, she drank like three three four cups of water or something like that yeah. it was crazy large cups from popeyes shout out popeyes shout out walmart <laughs> yeah yeah that's right you had a popeye sandwich because that's when it first came oh, out so yeah. Like, yeah it was so dude i could go for one of those right now <laughs> too bad popeyes isn't open till 3 a.m <laughs> hey popeyes plug us in <laughs> sponsor us bro <laughs> throw me a sponsorship <laughs> yeah yeah well <laughs> And then the uh, little fat fat man started to drive back home, and like Sadie was in my lap, and I was like, "Hey, like, she 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 should probably get used to you, right?" And I'm like, "Let me drive, you hold her in your lap," and um, yeah, and here she is today. Like she she still loves me somehow. She still remembers who I am, and then obviously she's fat man, but like she still gets weird around strangers, right? Yeah, she's very like timid around strangers. She's very shy. She like. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. She uh, she's very weird, very strange. She doesn't um, she doesn't fuck with too many people. She don't trust too many motherfuckers. I mean, I don't blame her. People suck. Sure, people fucking suck. <laughs> Sadie, Sadie might be right about something. Oh! <laughs> and it's Jesse right in the nuts. <laughs> Jesus. All right, Sadie, fuck off. She knows. She knows. Fuck off because. Of Succession. This dude got me hooked on Succession. It's such a good show. Bruh. Bruh, I love that show. Fucking, yeah, so fuck off. I was saying fuck off like every other sentence, and then that was my command to her. Succession, I'm sorry to the viewers who never watched Succession before. If you haven't, you should totally watch it. All right, but by fair warning, the first couple of episodes, if you don't like it and you hate every person in it, I totally get it. I'm with you on that. Everyone sucks. But the thing is, that's the point of the show. Everyone sucks. But season three, so many people die. But the thing is, no one actually dies. That's just how the writing is. And it's amazing. Like, like what, 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 how many shows can you, can you say that you were like, dude... That was like a bloodbath, but like no one died. Right. It's just like it's just like the dialogue was like <laughs> it's like one way through you. It was like it's that's some good writing. Succession is seriously one of the best written shows I ever fucking seen. It's, it's amazing. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, it's got great writing and great actors. My only complaint always is going to be that it's always the exact same fucking season every fucking whoa, season. Whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, okay. No, okay. Ho- no. Ho- hopefully season four, hopefully season four, like, it moves on to something a little bit different. I don't know. It might, it might, it might go back to the same shit. Who knows? I <laughs> bet you. Is, I'm for it. I'm for it. I don't care. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. It's cool, whatever. I like Brian Cox. Yeah. I used to love him in X-Men. X-Men 2. He played William Stryker. Oh, there was some connection. Oh, fuck me. Oh, I'm trying to think, man. <laughs> between uh, between his character in Succession and 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 William Stryker, and like I swear to God, 
<laughs> what a piece of shit. <laughs> well, yeah, but I... I th- who, who, who hates his, his own creation? Yeah, very true. Very, he's good at playing that character. <laughs> yeah. I mean, in, in Born, he's like a scummy... Pe- what, what, there's something I watched in him. He's like, wait, Red Eye. You ever watch Red Eye with Richard McAdams and um, and uh, Killian Murphy? No. So so Brian Cox plays a dad in it, and he's like he's the, like the most loving dad in the world. Like honestly, I actually, actually seen interviews with Brian Cox in real life, and then compared to to Red Eye, like I think that's like the, his most close personality. Like he, he's a super loving dad. He just wants to be there for his daughter, yeah. and it's cool. Yeah. Like he, he's awesome. And and the thing is, if you watch. Brian Cox interviews in real life. He's like, super cool guy. You just want to shoot the shit with him. He's fine. Like, he's nothing like his character in Succession or X-Men or anything like that. He's not a piece of shit. He's like, ah, fuck off. He's like, no, he's a super sweet guy with a British accent. Whatever. <laughs> Scottish. Scottish. Scottish, sorry. Yeah, he is Scottish. Yeah. Cultural appropriation, brother. Chill out. Yeah, no, he, he. I've seen the interviews with him and he seems like a... Uh, very not Logan Roy. No, yeah. He, he, he's definitely the complete opposite. And that's what makes a really great actor. Yeah. Which is awesome. So. Yeah, Succession was great. I honestly hated it at first. I, I like watched the first episode and then I never came back to it. Um, but then s- for some reason I kept seeing TikToks about it and I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll <laughs> give it another try. And then like I got hooked on it for some reason that time and... Just fell in love with it, and I watched. And luckily, the third season came out like right after I watched the first two, so it was like yeah. perfect timing. But I loved that show; it was a great show. Let's talk about Peacemaker. Peacemaker. I texted this dude the day that I watched the episode, and I'm like, I'm like, uh, I still the it. intro. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> this is the best. That is the best intro to any show yeah, ever is. created, <laughs> ever. <laughs> Ever. Hey, 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 have you seen the so you saw the Doctor Strange shredder, right? The 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 new one and yeah. you have um there's a shot with a close up on uh, Elizabeth Olsen's eye where it goes in. I don't know if you ever see the video, like, it goes in your eye and all of a sudden it's like it's a peacemaker's opening. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking great. It's so good. That's hilarious. Yeah, I but, but for, for, for some reason I haven't finished the actual show though I'm still like episode 5 I just haven't gotten to yet dude I've been busy okay I've been busy Jesus Christ man well Peacemaker's fucking sick it's a great yeah, show yeah I heard it's good and like yeah like no, no, through no, to no, the no. end is really good from, from, from what I've seen it's pretty great I, I, I'm i enjoying it it's, it's it's gory it's you know it's not like a Disney show in, in any way and I really appreciate it for that no but like it's, it's like he he was a villain. He he was the villain. Dude, I hated him when when I, they announced the show, and I was like, dude, why the fuck are we getting a peacemaker right, right, show? Right, yeah, no, he he was seriously the villain in the suit and the the new Suicide Suicide Squad movie. But like honestly, like in a weird way, like you 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 understand why he is the way he is, which I appreciate. I I do. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. he like he's still a piece of shit, but like but you understand where he's coming from because there, there's worse people. Mm-hmm. than him they make it like really easy to like him in the show and John Cena I think is at his best that he's ever ever fucking acted before he does a really good job it's funny yeah. he's a funny guy yeah I, I really need to finish that show sorry I, I I just haven't gotten around to it that's another show man that's another show uh, what else have I just watched Yo, I've been watching Batman animated series lately Ever since I watched the new, the new Batman. Yeah. Which animated series? Like the 90s one or like the... The, the 90s one. Like the, okay. the, the original ba- the Batman animated series. Okay. Like I'm only like 15, 20 episodes in. Like it's not a lot, but... C- c- dude, the, the first season of the Batman animated series is like 60 some episodes. It's crazy. So like I was like, I'm, a tw- I'm 20 episodes in. I was like, this ain't shit. But um, dude, like seriously, it's pretty good. Yeah. Like I, I, it took me a couple of episodes to get into it. I'm like, oh, this is kind of like the kid version of it. But I'm like, then like later on, I'm like, this is not kids at all. Like, I mean, it is. Like any kid could probably watch it and they, they'll enjoy it. Like, oh, it's Batman Saves the Day and all this stuff. 
But then, like, as an adult, I'm watching it, and I'm like, damn, this is some deep shit they're writing. Like, this is cool. Huh. Like, I, I, like the, the Joker. Like, I, I Shout know. out Mark Hamill. Yeah. Well, I don't think he's the Joker in that one. Is he? Mm. Well, I had to check. Because I know he would. I know he was Joker for a few movies and stuff. He was. I'm pretty sure he was on the TV show. But maybe it was a different actor in the beginning and then he came on? There's so many actors for Batman. There's so many actors for Joker. So, like, I, I don't want to say, hey, yeah, just toy him and be totally wrong. But I don't want to be like, it's not him and then be totally wrong. But, anyways, like, it's. The, the, the Joker in it is pretty great. Like, I, I was like legitimately laughing. I'm like, this is hilarious. And I'm like, but like, it's super fucked up. I don't know. I, I've been really enjoying the, the Batman animated series. I never watched it before as a kid. So now I'm watching it as, as a 28 year old who gets every single meaning of it. Where I'm like, wow, this is for kids. But this is also really dark. I can't believe this is made for kids. This is amazing. I'm like, I, was like, I wish I knew this. The, the, the Batman beforehand. It really reminds me the new Batman movie really like the environment of Gotham and like the music really reminds me of the animated series. Yeah. Like cool. the music is like on par with it, and that's why like I love the music so much because I did watch that growing up. Like yeah, well, yeah. So, so like when I heard the score before, like so many people were like, "This reminds me of the Batman animated series," and I'm like, and I felt so lucky. I'm like, I don't know shit about this. And uh, it's like when I listen to when I watch the new movie with the new score and all that stuff, I'm like everything about this. I want more of it. And then I start watching the Batman anime series. I'm like, all right, this is the more of it that I was looking for. I'm like, I can't believe I had this before this movie. Mm-hmm. So it's 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 doing a lot for me right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I have to go back and watch some of those because like like I said, I only watched it as a kid, so like I don't remember. But like, so so, it's one of those things where like you 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 watch those adult movies or just whatever movies you watch when you're a kid. And you're like it was cool back then, but now when you watch it again, it's like it has a whole other meaning to it. And you're like this is even better. Right. Remember, remember how much we used to watch Bad Boys too? Yeah. Like we. Yeah. Hey, hey, Fat and I used to watch the movie all the fucking time because it's one. It's and I still think this. It's still one of the greatest action movies ever made. Like it's it's crazy action in that in that movie. It's, it's just absurd. And all the dialogue we really didn't give, give a shit about when we were younger. But then I remember when we got like what 14, 15 years old and all that stuff. We started watching it again and we we're like, holy shit, the dialogue is is hilarious. Like it's a seriously funny movie, while also being like this crazy ass action movie. It's like it's it's like the best of both worlds. And I love that movie for that reason. Many people hate that movie because it's vulgar and disturbing and very offensive. But the thing is, it's, it's just, I don't know. I, I, I fucking love it. That's the shit I like. I like <laughs> vulgar, <laughs> disturbing, and offensive. <laughs> it's just, it's, that's what it is. <laughs> that's why That's why we love Michael Bay. Love Michael Bay. Yeah. Dude, I'm ready for his new movie next month. Ambulance. Ambulance, yeah. Yeah. So ready for Dude, and I heard the script for it. It's like crazy good. Like people are reading the script I'm like this is the one of the best scripts Michael Bay has ever ever directed I'm like cool huh. interesting yeah so well it's Jake Gyllenhaal so I'm sure it'll be pretty yeah I mean pretty yeah, good I have to, I have to, I have to like that to, to agree to movie yeah well he was in No Way Home or uh Far From Home so yeah your least favorite that's a pretty shit movie <laughs> chill bro wasn't that bad right Sadie yeah, I fuck with it. Yeah, I, like it. I fuck with it. Um, what you call? Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, we were talking about Michael Bay. Oh yeah, you know who else is a great director? Don't you fucking do it? Don't you fucking do it to me? Christopher Nolan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to make this podcast like four hours long? Let me get the <laughs> let me get the details over here. <laughs> I love Christopher Nolan. Sadie, fuck off. <laughs> I just watched Batman Begins yesterday. Yesterday? Two days ago, maybe. I don't know. But I was like, dude, this is really good. I watched Dark Knight, the, the, the Dark Knight, about four days ago. Yeah. I watched that, too, like four days ago. <laughs> but I was like, I fell asleep because I've seen it so many fucking times. Right. It's like. Okay, so I do have to say. So, obviously, Sadie. 
obviously, Michael Keaton's Batman, you know, very out there. That's like okay. a different world. L- 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 let me say this real quick. So, I saw the Batman with Robert Pattinson that came out just, you know, literally a month ago. <clears throat> I should name that, like, literally a few weeks ago. Yeah. And then after that, I watched the Michael Keaton Batman movies. I watched the Val Kilmer one. I started to watch the George Clooney one, but, like, I honestly, like, I was not even paying attention to it. I was working on my own, like, work stuff, and, like, I had to have a background movie. The George Clooney movie was so fucking bad that it made me turn it off while not even paying attention to it. But then, <laughs> then so I put The Dark Knight on because I haven't seen it in a while. I wanted, I wanted to use that movie as a com- comparison to The Batman. But even though they're completely different, two different movies. Because I love The Dark Knight. I love The Batman. I just want to see how it was. So, so I watched a lot of Batman movies in the last like week or so. Um, you were talking about Mike Keaton. What, what, what's your thoughts on those? I mean, those are classics. You know, those are like what I grew up on as a kid. Um, yeah, love them for what they are. Even to this day, I think they're very uh, villain centric. Um, um, what well, we were talking about that the other night, I think. Uh, a little bit. Yeah. How the Joker, like, or how Jack Nicholson is like the main star of the movie, or has like. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So like. Um, I really like them. Um, they're pretty dark, even like for that time. If you really like watch them, you're like, "Fuck, man!" Well, so 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 Batman: The Returns, like with Joe, uh, not not Joe Pesci. Um, what's his name? Fuck. Danny DeVito. He's Danny. Yes, <laughs> I, I, I want to say Joe Pesci. I'm like, it's like, sorry, the other short guy. <laughs> D- Danny DeVito. Like, yeah, that shit was pretty fucking dark. I, I enjoyed that one a little bit more than the, than the original Batman. But I don't know. It's just yeah, like they're they're pretty fucked up movies. They really are. Yeah. And and like yeah, it's it's it's, it's yeah, it's just it's something else. Like I enjoyed them for yeah. what it was. Yeah. But but the thing is, I didn't have the nostalgia that to hold me on. So like I don't I I I'll never say like that's the best Batman movie that was ever made. I'm not one of those people. But I did enjoy it. I liked mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, those those are what I grew up on. Um, but the Dark Knight series. Obviously, was fucking nuts. Very crazy. Yeah. I loved that. Um, I think, I think that the Batman is more com- com- comparable to like Michael Keaton's Batman in a way, because like it's kind of got that outlandish world, but it's like grounded ish. Okay. It's just a very dark, grungy world, you know. But like, whereas the Dark Knight, I feel like is how it would be if it was in real world like our world you know what i mean like i don't think there would be a gotham in america from the batman like it wouldn't be a major city that's that disgusting and that like i mean you can say chicago but like well, it's I mean, not you gotta think about this like the, the dark knight was chicago yeah it, it wasn't gotham it was just chicago yeah like but but like like i'm saying like the dark knight was like the most realistic of any of the Batmans, and like no, no, I get that. That's I mean, the, I'm not the, saying it was realistic, but the most like reality based. Sure, I mean, like I said, it it was based like. <laughs> so okay, so so I, I I love Batman Begins because like Christopher Nolan actually focused on the on what was it the the, the narrows, which is like a crime centric area of Gotham City, and like. There's a visual style to it. Like, I love... I, that, that, it's like... As much as I love Batman Begins, as much as I love Dark Knight, I'm, I'm not going to talk about Dark Knight Rises. I'm not a big fan of that movie, and I don't want to focus this podcast and talking shit about it. But, um... <laughs> I will praise it. I love that movie. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just, hey, it's, 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 if, it's, just, if, it's just... It's iffy. But, um... But like, the, the Batman Begins is a fantastic Batman movie. Like it starts, you know, has its origins, it has, you know, his main mission and all stuff, and like it, it's it's honestly just a great Batman movie overall. It has the narrows, has a visual style for it all. It's, it's super fucking cool. Dark Knight is a great crime thriller movie with a great villain, with Batman showing up here and there. And and after I watched the movie last time, you know, a couple of days ago, I just went and read it and all this stuff. 
you know, just, you know, people who talk about movies and all that stuff and stuff forums. Like, I know Reddit's not probably not the greatest source because people could talk shit about it. But, like, I was, I, all I remember is one comment going, like, there's too much daytime going on in Dark Knight, in the Dark Knight. And I thought about it, and I'm like, holy shit. Like, after watching the Robert Pattinson, the Batman, like, there's a lot of night scenes in that, except for, like, one day scene. But then when you watch the Dark Knight, I'm like, there's a lot of day scenes. Like, the open scene, day scene. Uh, a lot of a lot, a lot of Bruce Wayne scene, day scene. Um, there, there's the only night scene is when Batman shows up, and the thing is, Batman doesn't show up all that much in Dark Knight. I mean, here and there, which I mean, it's not a problem. It doesn't take doesn't take away from the movie. It's still a great movie. It's a great crime movie about a great villain. I mean, fucking Heath Ledger kills it at playing the Joker. But the thing is. If you if you were going to that movie as, as a as a big Batman fan, and wanted a Batman movie, you might be a little bit disappointed. Just I mean, and and that, that's just how it is. Like he's not in it all that much, but then like, but remember like watching the Batman with Robert Pattinson, like he's in like almost every scene. But also at the time, you didn't have anything to compare that to where Batman no, was no, in it that much. No, you know? and, and I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to de- to detract from the Dark Knight. Right. Like it's like seriously, I watched it again for the first time in four or five years. I'm like, wow, this this movie still holds up. It's a great crime movie. But the thing is, like, um, I watched the Batman Begins a lot more since I've seen the Dark Knight because. Because I don't know something about the dark. The, sorry, something about the Batman Begins. It always draws me to it. It's like it's a good Batman movie. If I, if I want to watch Batman, I'm gonna watch Batman Begins, and well, now I'm gonna watch the Batman, the the, the new one that just came out. But if I want to watch a good, you know, crime thriller type movie with a good villain and a superhero, I will watch the Dark Knight. But the thing is, it's not really a Batman movie, mm-hmm. and. You you can fight me on that if you want, and I, I would totally love to hear that. But like, it's it's just more of a, a villain story, like like the Michael Keaton is. Mm-hmm. It's more more of a Joker story, like just like a, the Dark Knight is. Like I said, it's still a great movie. I would never, I'm not, I'm not gonna knock up any points on it. Like, it, it's still a great fucking movie. It just, if you want a Batman movie, watch Batman Begins. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, yeah. I mean, I still love it. I agree. It's a uh, more of a fucking like heat almost, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, heat's a great movie too. Heat's a great movie. Um, I love The Dark Knight Rises just because I feel like it was just like so out there, like for that universe. It was just like Jesus Christ. But like, I just love that movie. I love that movie. That might still be my favorite. Out of the trilogy. Really? Yeah, I've always stuck with that. God, why, I love... why do you and I hate... <laughs> so, so, he, he loves Tenet, and I don't. He loves Interstellar, and I, I'm fine with Interstellar. It, it, it's, it's, it's a fine movie. I love Inception. I love Dark Knight Rises. Uh, it's, wow, fuck. Cut that out. Uh, he, he loves Inception. I love Dark Knight. And uh, the Batman Begins, but then like he loves Dark Knight Rises more than like the other two Batman movies, which is, I think is crazy. Yeah, so like like we all we we, it's, we we both have very different opinions about Nolan movies. But I love Nolan, Christopher Nolan. I love you. It changed my life. Inception was life changing. Um. And Inception's life changing, and then after that, he just gets up his own ass. No, no, that. buddy. <laughs> Interstellar was fucking life changing, completely life changing, fucking Jesus. So well, so so I was talking to talking to a buddy of mine, and we we're talking about Interstellar. And I told him I'm like, I was like, I can't tell if I like Interstellar because of the movie or because Hans Zimmer's music is so good. Because Hans Zimmer's mu- music makes me feel so many different emotions. Yeah. But the thing is, I can't really tell, like, is that the movie doing that for me? Or is it just, like, the music doing it for me? Well, that's a movie because it's a combination of the both. I don't, I don't know, man. Like, Think about hey, it. Hey, I, I could put on Hans Zimmer's 
uh, Interstellar soundtrack on right now and, and feel all kind of emotions. But the thing is, if I put the movie on and watch it without, you know, any sound, will it feel the same? I all feel the same. I love that movie. Hey, have you watched it without sound? How the fuck am I going to watch it without sound? Hey, 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 I'm not you. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> wow, fuck you. <laughs> no, no ser- ser- seriously. That's getting clipped. That's going on a clip. Oh, yeah, it's great. Thank you. Thank you. You know, get 20,000 views. What's up? But no, ser- seriously, ha- have you ever watched a movie without sound? No. You should do it sometime. It's actually really interesting. I'm not, I'm not saying this. Hey, Mac Miller. I, I, motherfucker. I'm not saying this as a deaf person or anything like that. But seriously, when, when you watch a movie without sound and you just, all you see is pictures and visuals and all that stuff, it's, it's actually really interesting. Because sometimes you can interpret it a different way, but sometimes you can interpret it the same way without sound and you still get the same effect, which is kind of neat. But sometimes you'd be like, wow, this movie's way better without the sound. Which could be a big red flag. We're like, I was like, wow, everything about the sound design, the music, the dialogue, this and this and that, it's fucking terrible. But the visuals of it is great. I feel like if I ever watched Tenet with just a soundtrack, which, let's be honest, everybody, it's like you barely fucking hear the dog in that movie, so all you hear is a soundtrack, it might be better. But the thing is, the fact that Tenet tried to explain itself, and that's where it fails. So if you just watch Tenet, was visuals and music, it might be a masterpiece. You say it's a masterpiece right now with dialogue, and I still think you're a crazy person. But hey, we have different opinions about Nolan. We need a tenant sequel. <laughs> you say oh. tenant sequel. This is his own. Fuck the Batman too. Tenant sequel. <laughs> it's his own podcast. He can say whatever he wants. <laughs> but I'm saying, I'm saying, like, tenant is it's it, it's it's. If I just watch it with just the soundtrack, I might enjoy it a lot more. <laughs> I don't know, but but I'm not just saying. Rock oh, Raggy. No, no. Jesus Christ! I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm fried. I'm fried. Oh, I ate an edible. That's what's going on. Yeah, edible. Yeah, I had one. What, what kind? I don't know. It was from our last podcast. Shout out to Region Roots. We got it from a dispensary. For free, he sponsored our episode. We each got a gram of weed. We each got like three edibles. Well, he, he was the guest last week. No, he was not the guest, but his friend was our guest. Oh, okay. uh, he owns a um, Region Roots. It's going to be coming in Niles, Michigan, uh, someday. Is Niles, Michigan, part of re- a part of Region? No, but that's what's called Region <laughs> Roots, because his roots are in the region. Ah, I like it. Okay. Wordplay. Okay, okay. So yeah, I just realized I'm like, dude, why am I so fried right now? And then I realized I ate an edible like right before you came, so that makes sense. That's why I'm so fucking fried. Yeah, I, I, I had an edible last week. It takes like a pretzel, like 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 a, like a uh, vanilla icing pretzel. It was really really good. And then like throughout the night, I'm like, oh, there it is. It's ah. like, I don't know. A, a good edible is the one you don't really notice all that much. Like, yes. it's, 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 it's I there. completely agree. It, it's, it's there. You feel pretty good, but it's not like ruining your fucking life where you're like, where am I, guys? No, no. It's like, like it, it's just like your, your normal life, but you feel like a little bit. I mean, I, want, I don't want to say heightened because may, may, maybe you are a little more alert. But like you, you just feel it. You, you just don't really notice it all that much. I don't know. It's weird. No, yeah, I agree. I think the best edible is the kind that's not like kicking your ass. Like I don't yeah. want to. I don't want to be like an hour later. Like be like, oh shit. I mean, sometimes yeah, that's a cool yeah, feeling. And, and, but like, I think we've all been there. If you've taken edibles enough, we're like, this is ruining my life right now. I don't want to be a part of this. I want to pick this up. But if, even if I do pick it up, it's not going to do anything different. I'm still going to feel. Same piece of it's shit. In my bloodstream. Yeah, yeah. It's so, in my bloodstream. Yeah, it's yeah. Worse. It's um, but you know, these are really, really good. They just get you a nice, mellow, fucking chill. Um, we took them on the podcast, and like by the end of the last one, I was like fried because I took like three. I think I had three. So yeah, they're like fifteen milligrams. They're really good. Just gummies, <laughs> well, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. So so last week you 
uh, the, the guy gave me, he's like, hey, I have two of them, so they're only five milligrams a piece. I'm like, I'm good with five milligrams. He's like, oh, well, you have 10. I'm like, I, was like I, I, I feel like I've had 10. I, I might be fucked over. I, I don't do weed all that much. Yeah, I don't do weed all that much. I don't do weed. Clearly, you don't do weed all that much. <laughs> Stuff I had edible last week, okay? Fuck off. A- anyway, no, no, but seriously, like, you know, I, I have friends who do, who, 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 who do. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I have friends who smoke weed all the time, and, like, it, they get to the point where, like, oh, this is not doing it for me. I'm like, really? And then I go to Michigan. Every year in the summer, you know, the last couple of years, I buy six dollars worth. Sorry, I, I buy six dollars worth of weed, and it takes me the entire year to ever go through it. I mean, I, I don't know. You're, you're shaking your head. I'm like, motherfucker, I go through that in one week. <laughs> Three days. <laughs> Three days. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I I still had the weed I bought back from in July. Yeah. Jesus Christ! Yeah, dude, I, I barely make make. I, and, and, and the weird. <laughs> what are you doing, Sadie? What are you doing? What do you want to say, huh? You want to say something? Guest star. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Get off. Fuck off, Sadie. Fuck off. Magic. Oh goddamn it! No balls. You, you want to know the best edible I ever had? It's called Focus. And uh, so, in case you don't know, I'm I'm a business owner. I I'm a photographer, a videographer, and I run my own business doing this kind of thing. And uh, I was coming back from my buddy's house, who lives 80 miles away, and he was like, "Hey, when you're halfway halfway through your drive at 40 miles in." Take this edible and it'll kick in by the time you get home. I'm like, okay. So about, I think it was about 35, 30 miles away from home. I I, I took it. I'm like, okay, cool. I mean, I got home and I, I never felt anything. It was fine. And then about 20 minutes later, it starts to slightly, you know, you start to slightly feel it. But 20 minutes later, uh, uh, like a client called. He said, hey. <coughs> I mean, this, this is 10 o'clock at night. And he calls me. He's like, hey, can we have the conversation that we've been meeting to have for the last couple of weeks? I'm like, well, like, it's, it, it's been super hard to contact him and all that stuff. I'm like, fuck it. What's happening now? And then I just realized, I'm like, dude, I just took it out of it like 45 minutes ago. I'm like, I was like, this is a bad fucking idea. The thing is, it was called Focus. <laughs> I had an hour-long conversation with this guy, with the, with the client. And I signed a contract with him and all that stuff, and it's just been great. The thing is, like, I was extremely high the entire fucking time. I'm like, this is bad. And I feel like I probably shouldn't even be saying this right now on camera, but whatever. But the thing is, like, it was called Focus, and the thing is, I remember every single thing. Like, it's like, you, you had weed, you know, maybe edible, you got high, but you don't remember fucking word anyone's ever said. Like, it was like I was just high last night, that's it. Like, no, like, this, like, I was aware of everything. I had a completely normal conversation, but the thing is, like, I was high also, and it was weird. Like, I felt very focused, but I was also really, really high. I'm like, this is neat. This is, def- this is definitely different. Yeah. Yeah, this is, that's definitely once, <laughs> once in time experience. One time I took edibles... Uh, my buddy had gotten them from our friend in Colorado, and he brought them back. And uh, I'd taken some edibles, and this is when I was on like my weight loss journey. And so I forgot that I took them, and then I went to the gym, and then they like I took like three twenty-five milligram edibles. <laughs> and so, so you're, you're high at the gym. I just randomly got high as fuck. <laughs> like I was like I was like doing lap pull downs, and like <laughs> I like pull the bar down, and I'm like. Holy fuck. Like, it just hit me. I was like, I, like, put it up. And I was probably, like, two exercises in. I think I, like, walked on the treadmill for a little bit. And then I started, like, working out. And then, like, two exercises in. I was like, nah, bro. And I dipped out. Well, that, 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 that's the thing about edibles. Like, when you smoke weed, when you actually smoke it, like, it kind of hits you instantly, right? Uh, but when you take edibles, like, it's just like a... 
it sneaks up on you. You, yeah. you don't. And it could it. be anywhere from forty five minutes to like an hour and a half. Well, yeah, yeah. I remember like the, those little gun jobs that we had that I, I that I gave you. Like it took an hour and a half, two hours. Yeah. It's like you, you should be doing your own thing. All of a sudden, you're just like, I feel fine or good or I don't know. It, it sneaks up on you. Like you don't realize you're high, but then all of a sudden you are high. I'm like, what? What's going on? Right. Yeah. Is this edible? Is one of those things like it's a long fuse. You have to be prepared for it. You have to be ready for it. Because it's going to last a lot longer than, like, normal weed does, mm. I guess. Sometimes. This edible is starting to kick my ass. <laughs> is it really? A little bit, yeah. I don't know why. Well, I'm also hitting the pen, so that... Oh, well, yeah, yeah. It doesn't help. Well, you know, but serious, that, 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 that's what edible is. It's like, you don't notice it until, like, it's there, there knocking on your door. Like, hello, and, I'm here. And edibles are a lot more psychedelic than just smoking weed. They're a lot more, um... Like, you can have hallucinations on edibles, and you can fucking... Bro, like, I remember one time I took I took a few 25s. This was probably, like, a couple days after the gym experience. And, like, I was laying down. This is when I lived with Raul and like, in Highland. And so, like, I was laying on that couch, and, like, my heart was just racing. And it was, like, one with the couch. And the TV's just playing in the background. I'm just, like, <laughs> fucking... I'm like, oh, I was just, like... Oh my god, just fucking so fried. I was like melted. It's like that fucking old commercial where they fry the egg on the on the yes. pan. That was my brain, for sure, 100%. Yeah, I haven't done that since I lived in L.A. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure you were chiefing out there. Huh? I'm sure you were chiefing out there. Oh, dude, like, so so my roommate... Dude, okay, l- let me say this. I had, I had one of the coolest roommates ever in the world. His name was Kirk. You know, which immediately I think it was fucking Star Trek. I'm like, I was like, he's he's fucking Kirk, but no, <laughs> like, did this guy? He used to get mad at me for doing dishes. He's like, hey, stop doing dishes. I want to do them. It calms me down. I'm like, okay. So I was a person who worked at 12 a.m. and I get home around 12:30, 1 a.m. and this guy be making dinner at that, that at that time. He making he'd be making dinner at 1 a.m. for himself. I'm like, dude, how are you not eating? And like he he smoked weed all the time. He he had weed for day like for days. Like if I want to get high, I'm like, hey, can I smoke weed with you? And he's like, yeah, sure. He never charged me for it. He had edibles. He had this, this, and that. Like one of the most chill, chillest guys I ever met. Like, this guy was always fucking stoned. Except when we go to the grocery store. He, he would normally drive in his Honda Accord. Like, he was a very calm driver and all stuff. But, so, in, in L.A., a lot of parking lots had, like, this whole weird thing. Because like, most parking lots in L.A., you kind of had to go, like, a half fucking hill. You, you, you drive up, I big curve and then also you have a speed bump on top of that just to make sure you don't speed in there but the thing is like if, if you, even if you speed in there at 30 miles an hour you bottom out your car on the curve and then you just break your suspension on the fucking speed bump so like you have to drive so slow <laughs> this guy the, the calmest guy in the world I ever met you know my, my roommate Kirk You'd be super calm. You'd be driving. And then when someone turns to a parking lot, if they drive like two miles an hour too slow, he goes, Come on already! Just drive fucking faster! I'm like, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> You're like, he just loses shit if someone turns to the parking lot one mile an hour too slow. It was so fucking funny. The chillest guy in the world wants to do my, 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 my dishes. Cleaning the apartment, doesn't want me to do anything. He's like, let me be. It, it puts me in peace. Like, he's just the chillest guy in the world. But someone turns in the parking lot one mile an hour too slow, loses his shit. But, I always laugh my ass off. I'm like, this is amazing. I have no idea how we got on that topic. <laughs> um. Uh, fucking. <laughs> so 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 so, Fat Man and I, we get to this point sometimes in our lives where we're like, "What the hell are you even talk about?" We're like, I don't know, man. We're like, 
what don't I know about you? But I'm like, dude, we've known each other for over 25 fucking years. Like, what do we not know each other? Like, obviously, we're not going to share everything about ourselves to you guys. Right. Because we're not there yet, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah. No, I agree. Yeah. Uh, 20... <laughs> I'm so fried. 25, 25 years of friendship, folks. 25 years. Met this kid outside my grandma's house. Uh, we were playing. I was playing with my grandmother on a swing. And then this fuck comes up on her yard with his sister. I don't know what he was doing. I don't, I don't really remember how it happened. but Big wheel or something, right? Some shit. I don't know, but we both had big wheels back then, and we used to fucking ride the shit out of them. <laughs> remember, 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 remember how many big wheels I went through? I, I only had two. I had like twenty. <laughs> right. Well, okay, so so my my dad would buy me like the cheapest fucking big wheel in the world. Like they're they're cost at the, at the time I think it was like twenty dollars. Like I get it. Like maybe it's just some families who are hearing this. You know, I was a party spoiled kid who got a $20 big wheel all the time. But the thing is, I got the cheapest big wheel all the time because I was always destroyed the, the front tire. And then, like, it was split in half, you know, explode. Like, I just I went through those, like, sort of Skittles. I still remember the one time. I still remember the... <laughs> Skittles. Yeah, I still remember the one time where, where Fat Man had the... You had the, you had the yellow one, right? Yeah. The, the yellow big wheel. And then I had I had my big wheel, my twenty dollar one, that was held up by a like, duct tape. And then like Fat Man stopped real quick and I stopped right behind him. And like I was like a little tap in the fucking world, like bing. And remember this? Like my mine like fell apart. Oh it, yeah! It, it, it just broke in half. It split <laughs> in half. I, 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 I barely even fucking touched him. It just it just snapped in half. I'm like, well. I <laughs> what? think that was the first time I ever cried from laughing. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. And my, my, I remember my dad standing in the driveway. He's like, God damn, I got to buy him another fucking big wheel. <laughs> I went through them like they were fucking toilet paper or some shit. Yeah. I destroyed those fucking things. Dude, I remember well, that. Uh, Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, because like, he, he had the, the, the yellow big wheel and he had the, the, the police one. Yes. Yeah, like, it had like the batteries and shit. Yeah. It made sirens. Like he had some nice. He, like okay, he only had a couple of B wheels, but he had a nice one. He had a really nice one. I had a cheap ass one because I, I just destroyed them all the fucking time because that's just what I did, I guess. And like, yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I, I still remember that. Like, it's like there's not many memories I remember as a small kid, but I just remember just barely tapping in the back. It sounds weird. And, and like my, my big wheel was just splitting right in half and it was just fucking hilarious yeah oh man I remember when we used to uh, build rocket ships out of my grandpa's fucking lawn chairs yes and like we would fucking pretend we were going to the fucking moon or to Mars <laughs> or some shit we used to build a shit do you remember the tree house yeah the tree house Your Jesus tree Christ house Mine. Yeah, we both had, we actually we, we both had pretty solid tree houses. Yeah. Do you remember the one we tried to build in the trees with the swings? <laughs> Failed. <laughs> terribly. <laughs> terribly. Do you remember the ropes that my grandpa hung from the trees that we would swing yeah, on? We should have died. Feet? We should have died. I remember there was one time when well, I was a kid. One of them barely had clearance above the ground. Like yeah. you, you, you swing down, you just. And I think that's the one that my fat ass was swinging on. So that fucking branch is <laughs> super low. The branch. Yeah. That's why a tree looks all fucked up right now. I look at my backyard right now. I'm like, I was like, that tree's fucked. <laughs> yeah, it was my fat ass for sure. Dude, that was fun though. I would spend hours on that fucking thing, just swinging back and forth with my foot. That was the shit, man. That ghetto ass swing, man. That was some country ass shit. Do like, like, like want to travel different countries? Like, so last year I did uh, Puerto Rico, and then this year I did Aruba. We both had like both trips, both trips. There, there, there's a swing for a swing 
and you, you swing, you go uh, uh, up above. Uh, hello? Hello, hello. All right. So, like, like the, the last two trips I did were uh, uh, Puerto Rico and then Aruba, and both both those trips had, like, a swing, and you swing above the water and all that stuff, and you just let go, and you just, you just splash right in. I'm like, like, this is for adults. And I felt like a fucking kid when I was doing it. Yeah. I'm like, I was like, I wanted to do this when I'm, I was swinging off your tree house, your <laughs> ghetto ass ropes. <laughs> they probably should have killed me. Because like, we always pretended your your grass was the water. We did that so many times. Yeah. So many times. Like, hey, this is the ocean. It's a big ocean. We were going to swim across this. It's, it's 50 feet long. It's, and it's really just your entire grandparents front yard and it's all grass that's been recently cut so it's, it's so funny how we god damn I kind of miss kid being a kid and his imagination I mean oh, I still have a pretty good imagination but like it's not as a creative back when I was younger yeah it's weird I mean sometimes I had dreams where like it's just like a mix of reality and its own imagination it's weird like Okay, you hear, you hear one topic, this topic, and that topic, and then all of a sudden I dream the, the next day as all those three topics combine together. And it's like, I don't know if that's a good dream or a fucking nightmare because like, it's weird. <laughs> Man, dreams. You want to talk about dreams? Super dreams. How much time we got over here? How much time we um, Dreams are fucking wild. I feel like when I smoke weed, I don't really have dreams. But, like, when I'm not smoking weed for a long time, I have very vivid dreams. And, like, my dreams are always nightmares. I never have, like, good dreams. I feel like I really? always have nightmares, yeah. My brain is, like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I got some demons I gotta fight or something. I don't know. But I just always have fucking nightmares. I mean, I, I, I feel like I had some really good dreams, but, like, it kind of fucks me up like a nightmare. I don't know if you ever had that. Yeah. Like, it's a really, really good dream, but, like, it's so, like, personal to your life where, like, it's like, damn. I fucked up so much shit in my own life where, like, now I'm having a really great dream of things I should have done. <laughs> it's like, it's like the, I don't know, it's like, hey, this is a great dream of you being a fucking loser. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel that. I feel like, um, Oh, man. Getting into fucking... Just how much I fucked my own life up. Dude, I look back at my life and I'm like, dude, I fucked my life up so bad. I mean, I could have been so much further than I am right now. And instead, I was like this lazy fucking... Just <coughs> lazy piece of shit. Like, I wanted nothing to be serious about. I didn't understand responsibility until I was like 26. Or like 25 or 26 and like I, 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 I get that man I do man I just wish that I like would have went to school or like just fucking been more responsible and done something with my life earlier than getting a jump start on it at fucking 25 you know what I mean it's like now I'm playing catch up but, but, but hey did, did you have good experiences back then before you learned that not really no I mean, like, I look back at all those things that I was doing back then, and you know those things I was doing well, back yeah. then, and you know, like, none of that is, like, something to be proud of. Sure. Nothing yeah. that I did back then is, like, anything to be like, whoa, well, yeah. I, I just, I'm jarring, just trying to, like, hey, you have a positive moment from that time. <laughs> I mean, I had a lot of fun. Like, sure. fun. Yeah. You know, momentary fun. But, yeah. Guess I learned that fun doesn't always mean instant gratification sometimes fun is playing the long game yeah I understand that you know sometimes I, sometimes I buy something and I'm like it's great and then you're like ah shit I shouldn't have done that yeah no. sometimes like, sometimes it can be like $20 you spend $20 on one thing and I'm like I shouldn't have done that like, especially like, food yeah, maybe, maybe food, but like, I mean, most of the time I, I don't know, like, I, I can't really relate to food too much, but like, but I've done things and like, I spent $20 on one thing and I'm like, 
it's cool in the moment, but then you're like, you kind of regret it. But like, but then you gotta tell yourself like, it's twenty dollars. I'm like, it's so easy to waste twenty dollars in this time. Mm-hmm. So like, I was like, all right, all right, cool. Would that twenty dollars help in the future? Would would it make your life better? Probably not. I'm like, just take it. It's like it's an experience. That was twenty dollars. You just wasted an experience. And you made it learn from that twenty dollars experience in a in a way where you never ever do it again. Right. And, and and that way I find it beneficial that's how I try to look at certain things sure but I get, I bet I get it like sometimes you spend like a couple hundred dollars or you know a few hundred dollars and I'm like that was definitely not worth it at all right. like, I can't even find one good experience out of that like prom prom in high school I spent I remember I spent like six seven hundred dollars on the entire fucking weekend it was an experience did I enjoy it? I'm not really sure. <laughs> like, it was a lot of fucking money, especially for a teenager. I mean, especially to me now. Like, I was like, I'm doing pretty well, but still, like, if I spent seven hundred dollars right now on experience, I didn't really care for it. I'd still be pretty fucking mad. And like that, that was an experience where I'm like, ah, I'm glad I had it because mm-hmm. I, I guess I could say right now I'm glad I had it because I learned from it. But like now it's just like, damn. Wasn't all that great, right? So you, you just gotta look at how if if you if you spend certain money on all this stuff, you know what do you get out of it? Sometimes bad, sometimes sorry, so sometimes bad, sometimes really good, but it it, it could be beneficial either way. Yeah, especially when like you're doing something that like works for you in the future. If you're like. Obviously, you spend most of your money probably on, like, camera equipment and shit for, you know, your business. I spend a lot of money on camera equipment and stuff for my business. Yeah. So, it's, like, so those things are, like, easier to spend money on. But, like, when you have to fucking, or when you, like, make, like, when I bought my weight set and that was, like, 400 bucks, I'm, like, fuck, man. Damn, like, that, that's a lot, man. Is it worth it, worth it to you now? I mean, I use it almost every day. So, yeah. yeah. So, like... That's an investment that I'm I'm fine with. But, but, but all I'm saying is like, so if you spent four hundred dollars on it again tomorrow, like, would it even phase you? I mean, right now, yeah. Well, okay, <laughs> no, but, uh, okay, okay. Sorry, if, if you're doing reasonable money or what whatnot, but like, just just in general, if you had to spend four hundred dollars and you want like, hey, I'm in a situation where I want to spend four hundred dollars on equipment right now, and and I do it tomorrow. Would would it phase you in a way where like, hey, it's kind of like kind of like struggle, or would it be like whatever? It's fine. No, I mean, yeah, I would definitely do it again. Yeah, okay, I think cool. it was it was a great investment. I yeah. I use it all the time. I mean, you know, yeah. One thing I might say was not a great investment at first was the Mac because all I was using it for was schoolwork, and I already had two laptops for that, so I could have just been using those. But, like, now with the podcast, I'm finally using the Mac. I've been paying for Adobe for a year and haven't been using it. And fucking... So now I'm finally using the Mac and using Adobe. And it's 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 a good investment now. I mean, you know, I love doing this. This is a blast. Podcasting. I mean... Hey, no, oh, oh. Dude, you, got, you, got, you got so many purposes for your Mac. So you're, you're good. You got it for school. You got it for podcasting. You got it for any video crew creation you want to do in the future so you're, you're set it's one of those things you're, you're kind of investing in your own self for your future self like it's one of those things where like oh I didn't know I needed this but now you're going to use it which is cool right which, which I mean I feel, I feel like you of all people I know how you are with this video stuff like I know you're you're not you're not consistent with it but when you do use it it comes in handy. Yeah. Which you should be consistent with it. So. No, I know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely trying to be more consistent with it, especially with the podcast. Yeah. And it's a good start. Yeah. And that's why I'm glad we're recording this episode because it's just like a little, like, quick little filler episode, you know? Sure, sure. You know? Like, <laughs> because, um, what you call? I feel bad for posting episode three, like, four days late because it's probably going to be four days late by the time I post it. So. 
I'm just figuring out. We had some technical issues on the editing side, so I'm just figuring all that out, and then uh, then I will get that episode up immediately. But yeah, this is like the most fun I've had doing. Like, it's like all I've been doing is working and doing school for so long, and it's like, man, I haven't done anything like that I'm passionate like about for like my brain and like this is fucking very stimulating and fun and i love editing and i love fucking talking shit and yeah it's just well, okay, it's okay. Okay. okay so 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 real quick how much longer do you have in school i've got a while oh okay so so you, you still been going in school with despite all this covid stuff and all stuff right yeah. well i started right when covid started okay but but you still been doing it through all this time right yeah cool all right so yeah. like so you, you you still been learning to do the cybersecurity and all this stuff like all this time? Yeah, I mean it's still like basic classes, like because I've been only able to take like one class at a time because of work. So, sure. so but I was talking to a guy who was telling me that I should just get certifications because he's in the business and like he's like I got my master's, I fucked up, drop out, get certifications, and you'll get a job. Well, I mean. <laughs> So yeah, so like you, you should learn the, like the the programs that you're supposed to use for the stuff. Like I I, I get it, the whole service case stuff like because like I do service case stuff for like for Adobe and uh, like Photoshop and Lightroom and all stuff. It's just, it's just like it's it's like a test saying like hey, I know what the hell I'm doing. So like if you get into a program that you're supposed to be using for what you're supposed to be doing, like that should be pretty easy. I mean the best experience is. To start using it now, yeah, and then just learn from it. Because I'm not learning anything in school. Hey, I get that. I went to college for two years, and I'm so glad the college lasted for two years. Because, yeah. like, I mean, I learned stuff from college, but the, the the most beneficial thing I ever got from college is the friends I made from it. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm still friends with them to this day. Like, I know some from Atlanta, I know some from Florida, I know some from, you know, West Coast and all that stuff. I mean, that's how I didn't fucking become homeless when I moved out to, to L.A. Two guys saw me moving out there a week before them. They were like, hey, you want to live with us? Make a rent cheaper. I'm like, cool. Sounds good to me. And I did. I hated one of those guys, but hey, I saved money. I survived out there, and I made a career out of it and all that stuff. That's just how it is. Networking. Mm-hmm. I think I think we talked about this a little bit before. I think networking is key. Because, I mean, you should definitely know what the hell you're trying to do. I mean, especially the career you're trying to do. You definitely should know a general basis of what you want to be doing. If you know that skill, that's a good front. Um, but the thing is, a lot in the world that I've known is who you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, once you know this one guy, oh, hey, you know how to do this? Yes. You, you can say yes. Even though you might only know 75% of it and like the other 25%, like, all right, let me go home real quick and go on YouTube and learn this fucking thing real quick. Next day, I'll be right there. And the thing is, you end up knowing 125% more than you actually need to know. Like, you you, you needed to know 90%, but you end up showing the next day at 125%, so you're good. And all of a sudden, they're like, hey, this guy really knows what he's doing. And then you're like... I just learned this shit last fucking night. I'm like, what am I doing? But the thing is, it, it just keeps going and going and going and going. Networking. Networking is key. And then just bullshitting your way through it. Yeah. Because that's the one lesson I learned. Not one adult actually knows what the fuck they're doing. Unless they're like, they're really, really seasoned into it. Everyone's trying to fake it to the make it. They know what they're doing. And, um... Yeah, they get they get through it. <laughs> it's crazy. I agree. It's 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 really really it's crazy. Everybody's a bunch of just grown <laughs> babies. Everyone's a fucking adult going like, how the fuck do I do this? Google this, Google that, and then they're like, all right, I'm we're we're good, we're, we're gonna move on, and then <laughs> and and then they get the the job of their lifetime. We're like, what? <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. So life is funny. Life is. God damn it. Alright, so I made this fucking stupid ass phrase called Life is Funny when I was like 
eighth, ninth grade. Yeah. Like, I, I didn't know what the hell life actually meant, but I'm like, life is funny. And I just thought it was some stupid good phrase, password I used and all that stuff. But the thing is, as I've gotten older and as, as, as Fat Man gotten older, we just kind of look at each other like, God damn it. Life is funny. Because life works in a stupid fucking way where it could re really work out for you or really just work against you because of one stupid thing. But the thing is, at the end of the day, life is funny. Life is funny. <laughs> life has worked out so far, like very much in my favor. I've made some very tough, you know, life is funny. <laughs> now I can go in that. Life is funny. No. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> I'm very happy. I love you, brother. Very happy, man. All right. You. I'm going to end my note on that. So, see ya. Life is funny. Life is funny. Yeah, I think that's that's about all I can uh, fucking say. I think we're both a little toasty. Um, I'm definitely fried. This man's been drinking. I had one whiskey and like two beers. So, I mean, maybe I'm a little toasty. But yeah, that's the midnight edition. This is the... This is Untucked After Hours. Episode the Double Untucked. <laughs> when you're in touch your pants, but you want to untuck it some more. <laughs> I don't know. No, nah, nah, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. That was a courtesy laugh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good night. Dope. That was a podcast.